This is a review of the Nikkor HC30 bundle and it comes with all these additional accessories in the kit. This is a miniature flashlight that comes with and uses this 18650 battery rated at 3400 milliampere hours. The battery is made by Nikkor. One unique thing about this flashlight is that the lens and LED is at right angles to the body and the control switch is here on the top. It also comes with a UM10 18650 battery charger, very nice, built-in digital display, built-in charging cable. It comes with a USB car adapter that you can plug the cable into and use this in your car. It comes with an AC wall adapter that's rated at 100 to 240 volts AC and 50 to 60 hertz. It comes with a complete instruction manual for the flashlight. It comes with a titanium uh, pocket clip that snaps onto the flashlight if you want to carry it in your pocket. It comes with a replacement uh, switch cap that you can switch out in case you happen to break it. And it comes with a spare O-ring. In addition, it comes with the warranty card. As I mentioned, the Nikkor 3400 milliampere hour battery and the battery case that you can go out and buy some additional batteries at your own expense and carry them with you safely. In addition, the flashlight comes with this nice elastic headband which allows you to mount the flashlight inside of the headband and wear it on your head to free your hands up. That's ideal for when you're camping, working on a computer for example, need some additional light, hiking, or bike riding. After you fully charge the battery, you want to insert it into the flashlight by removing the tail cap and you'll see here this little button, that's the positive, and it goes in towards the head of the flashlight. After you do that, you want to install this cap and screw it on very carefully to make sure you don't misalign it. And you also want to make sure that you screw it on tightly to help make it more waterproof. As you look down into the lens, you can see the LED. It's designed to output 1000 lumens. It shoots a distance of 177 yards uh, maximum. It has a 100 degree beam coverage. It's a high efficiency uh, system that supplies a constant power and current to the LED to maintain uniform brightness. Earlier I said this was a tail cap. It's actually a cap at the head so you can reach up and touch it. It gives you five different lighting modes and three specialty modes and they are quite bright. Here's the high beam at 1000 lumens and you can see how bright it is. Here we are on the low beam. This is one lumen. It will operate for 330 hours in that low beam mode. This is the low beam. It's 75 lumens. It will operate for 15 hours and 15 minutes in that mode. This is the mid-range at 210 lumens. It will operate at 7 hours and 15 minutes. This is the high beam at 400 lumens and it will operate for 3 hours and 30 minutes. And then back this is in the uh, turbo mode which is 1000 lumens and it will operate for 1 hour in that mode. The flashlight itself will operate on the 18650 battery and that's where you're going to get the best performance and cost savings. It will also operate on two CR123 batteries but you're going to spend a lot of money. It takes two of those and you're going to have to replace them and buy 1000 batteries to be the equivalent of the single 18650 battery that comes with the unit. The flashlight itself is very compact and small. I have big hands and you can see it easily fits in my hand. It's made of aircraft aluminum and it's coated with a military grade anodized to prevent corrosion. The outside of it here is knurled to give you a good gripping surface and this clip here is nice where you can clip it on and put it into a pocket for example. It contains an ultra hard mineral lens, very very clear to give maximum light output. And as I mentioned it's aircraft aluminum and designed to withstand a drop of 1.5 meters or about 4.92 feet. So that's pretty rugged. It's also rated at IPX8, which means it's waterproof. It's actually submersible in 2 meters of water on a continuous basis. The flashlight itself is actually able to stand up on a tabletop by itself 
a lot of people like that because they can use them as a to light an area like in a, a table for example or a campsite by double pressing the head cap here I can put it into the strobe mode this can be used to blind an attacker if I press it and hold it for one second and release it it goes off if I double press it again and quickly press it it goes into the SOS mode sends the SOS signal for help and if I clip it again click it again it goes into the beacon mode and it outputs a very bright pulse beam to help rescuers find you the nice thing about this is it also has direct access to the turbo mode you simply press the top button and hold it and it comes on in the turbo mode which you can see is extremely bright one of the nice things about this is it comes with this headband this headband is also adjustable so it'll fit anybody what I like about this is that I do a lot of work on computers and when you're doing detailed work inside of a computer inside of a case you just don't have enough light sometimes I use these types of headlamps to wear while I work on computers it helps me see where to plug in wires look at the motherboard look for pin locations very handy very easy to use the other nice thing about this is while you're wearing it this way it leaves your hands free you can be cooking on the grill in the dark hiking camping or working on a computer and you still got both hands free to do your work very nice feature as you look at this there are two silicone elastic bands that go around the flashlight you simply tuck it into these bands and locate it in place it's easy to put on easy to remove that way you can use it as a pocket flashlight or you can use it as the head band flashlight so it works in both modes easily very nice easy to mount very simple design I'm going to shoot this uh, light beam at the wall down there it's about 30 feet away and so it's going to give a, a nice uh, determination of how bright the flashlight is the nice thing about this is you can reach up and touch the flashlight and adjust it and adjust the angle to your work I noticed somebody mentioned that uh, they tilt it down to work on something and it's, it's in their eyes I don't see that problem at all and you can see my hands are well lit a flashlight you can easily reach up and touch this and adjust the intensity of the flashlight negative against this flashlight is that I've had it on here for about 10 minutes on high beam while I'm talking and it's getting pretty warm so you can easily burn yourself here you can see I'm looking down at the wall in the dark room it's about 30 feet away and it's basically lit up an area about 35 40 feet in diameter and it's quite bright down there so you can see it's very intense if I reach up and touch it and turn it off you can see the difference there's a lower beam middle high and kind of a turbo mode there so you can see here's actually the low mode and if you look at it you can see my hand this is more for emergency situations where you're going to want to have the light be on for a long time here you can see I'm looking down and lit up the wall this would be nice for bike riding or walking while camping for example if I reach up and grab the flashlight I can turn it down and focus it more closer and closer to me so it's right out now on my hand I like this flashlight a lot but there's one word of caution as I mentioned this head here gets very hot I mean hot to the point that you don't even want to touch it so that to me is the only negative uh, I would be careful letting children use this to go camping or something because they could easily burn themselves it literally is that hot uh, the flashlight itself light wise and functionality is a five star but I'm going to deduct one star because of this heat issue I think it's just because it has such a powerful battery in it and such a small body that it's having trouble dissipating the heat from the LED I'm going to rate this product at four stars this review is done by JJ CEO I'd like to tell you that I received a sample for test and evaluation and I didn't promise a review but I promised if I gave one it would be fair and honest